Hello, Packin here, and I'll be showing you how I make this Color Ren, uh, homemade Color Ren buckle. Um, if you have one of these um, costume looking belts and you don't have that that detail, what I do is that I use one of these um, insulation tape because it has this um, foamy side and it has adhesive so <clears throat> the things that you need to make this is is a straight edge um, even though this is like a um, balancer uh, but I use it for the straight edge to cut sharp edges uh, I have a caliper a scalpel a um, well, scissor and as well as the insulation tape that's exactly what you need and um, and plastic debt uh, make sure you get yourself like a, a newspaper and you put that on top of a cutting board so you don't cut through the table and uh, make sure you have a reference this is what I reference off of a picture I found on the internet um, of the color and belt buckle um, basically what I do is that I take the template and uh, and trace it um, so to create this I use a measuring I use a caliper to measure the distance between the top and bottom and maybe like a millimeter off to give that nice depth alright so let me turn this on I already measured this already, so I'll give you a good idea of the size. Alright, this thing is about, I can't do it with one hand. So pretty much like four millimeters in width. And So pretty much like 83, 83 uh, millimeters in height. Um, but after the tracing that, after getting the measurements down for the outside, you also have to worry about how I got the inside. Um, what I do is that I, like I said, I had to make two templates. I make one, one for the outside which is just a plain um, insulation tape and two I had to cut the middle if you can see there is a cut between here and here just a straight line so you have two pieces of one side and one the other side so if you look in the template these the template looks like it has two sides um, of of the template it looks like it's a mirror off from each other um, so to cut the little intricate pieces I use a scissor scissor to cut this part all around all around it's not perfect but it gets a nice visual effect of of the of the imperfection pieces and uh, it looks very homemade um, and it's not perfect like the way every homemade pieces would go so what I do is that I for this part because I tried uh, using a scalpel tool and tried cutting it it leaves like this gash marks on the insulation tape um, so what I do is that I use this tool to mark where the pieces go so I mark it down and then use a scissor to cut it. Now to, to create this, this part, um, it takes a tricky thing to do. You have to fold it up and start cutting the piece with a scissor. And that way you have a nice straight edge. Um, for these little pieces, again, I use a scissor. Same thing. You just have to take your time with it and cut 
little square. So one slit here and the other slit here, and then you cut a slit there. And then you get these kind of squares. I do this individually, so you don't want to put two at a time together. You just have to do one at a time. Um, that way you are able to control how much you can cut the piece in detail. Um, after you're done, you can rip off the little sticker and paste it on there. Again, you need to make sure this is a millimeter shorter than the actual size of the background. That way, that way you have a nice depth between the in layer and the out layer. And then, like I said, this is adhesive, so you can actually stick this on, on the belt, so you have that nice, nice effect. So, after that's done, you use a Posse Dip to coat it maybe one or two times on the layer of the belt buckle. And after two layers, you should get the final product like this. You don't want to put like a, uh, a coating, a, uh, a preservative coating on top of it, um, otherwise it cracks. Um, remember, this is like a foamy material, so any kind of uh, paint that you th think about using, maybe car paint, the material will be absorbed and if you put layers and layers of car paint on top of it, you're going to run into cracks. Um, the Plasti Dip does a great job of masking the areas where there are marks that are the ripped um, when I was cutting it because cutting in such a small fine detail with the spongy, spongy material, it's very difficult. So this project takes me about like um, 15 to to 45 minutes um, after cutting out the rough, uh, after cutting the template, and then fine, and then smoothing out the edges by cutting even more um, to cut it, make it make it look a little bit straight. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you find this informative. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments, uh, please leave them on my on my channel below. I hope you find this video informative. So. This is my first making on the Kylo Ren uh, belt buckle. I am planning on putting this over here uh, temporarily until I use Velcro and put this Velcro on top. Um, this is only for temporary reasons. So this is what it looks like. The detail is not perfect, but it gives you this nice, authentic, rustic look. Uh, so anyways, it's a quick video, hope you enjoy it, um, yeah, back in signing off.